Power to the truth. Truth. T R U T H. Peter S. Lopez, La Capita de Aslan. Transmitting from Sacramento, California. Nazi America. Protest Donald Trump is a demon. D E M O N. I'm not sure if people really understand what the hell happened in 2016. How Hillary was kind of set up to be the president. And then Donald Trump was like, do a monkey wrench into the whole process. And many of the global news media outlets were astonished. Many of, of the liberal, to, liberal left wing people were astonished. And it's karma. You know, what goes around comes around, but if it don't go around, it don't come around. So we see where we're in dark, fascist controlled, reactionary times where there's a lot of suspicion, mistrust, anger, division. There really is no United States. We're in divided states. America is not an independent nation. We are colonial subjects under empire. And whether you agree with me or not, it doesn't matter. I'm just expressing myself, exercising my right to freedom of speech. I think something that we all should do. Of course, my uh, concern is, is, is to create peace on earth. And I support the forces of, of liberty. Because ultimately we want, to, we want to be free. We want to be liberated from our oppression. Liberated from our hunger. Liberated from our fear. And to create a new world where we can develop our potential, where we can sharpen our skills, where we can develop our talents and live together in peace and harmony. But that is not the reality in here and now. So I want you to express yourself. Feel free to leave comments. You know, let your conscience be your guide. You know, look at Trump and, and his his executive orders. He he supports the Dakota Pipeline. You know, he. Uh, Tax the EPA, the Environmental Protection Agency. The, it could have a corrupt history too, so we need to study more. And of course, you have the the Muslim ban. You know his obsession with uh, Islamic radicals and his racism against Mexican immigrants, the idea of having a border wall. 
Now think, there are, we don't even know how many, there are 13 million, give or take thousands, Mexicans in the USA now. And many of us are, as you should know, if you have, if you know, if you know, if you know any, we're hardworking, family oriented, and really conservative people. So even if Trump does his insane deportation ideas, it's going to radicalize a lot of Mexicans. So I say good. The U.S. was founded upon a double genocide against the original natives, people who were here, so-called American Indians, and then against African slaves. Millions have been killed, millions. Now look at the U.S. history, it's like a dark, evil, satanic history. And it's good to study American history and you know, study deep. There's reasons why I have the beliefs and viewpoints and opinions that I do. So I'm not going to give you a history lesson here, though you might read Howard Zinn, you know, The History of the United States. So we're in a, a terrible situation. Globally, you know, we, we got the uh, climate chaos, and Trump denies that too. The man is, is not mentally stable, and to me, Americans are not mentally stable either. Since 9-11, I believe many in America are, are suffering from paranoid schizophrenia. Google that. Paranoid schizophrenia where we're we're sliced off from memory from our, our, our collective memory. M E M O R Y. And we're sliced off from key historical events that happened in the past. And if we forget the past or if we're ignorant about the past, how can we truly see what is here now in the present? So I'm not an expert on anything except myself. You know, I know what I've gone through, what I've studied, what I've experienced, you know, what I've witnessed, where I've seen great anti-war rallies. One of my most beautiful moments was when I was in San Francisco, Golden Gate Park on the podium huge anti-war rally where a sea of people it was beautiful. And Dolores Huerta was up there and it was just awesome. I've seen uh, rallies and demonstrations then. I went to the 60s. And now I've gone to the 60s, the 70s, the 80s, the 90s, now we're in 2017. I've gone through a lot of stuff already, and in a way, despite us having the internet, we're more screwed up than before we had the internet. At least before the internet, people were, we would talk face to face. 
We have rap sessions all night. We might be just sitting around the living room and smoking some joints and having a few beers and stuff. And it was good. There was more of a, a sense of unity, a sense of community amongst those who were in favor of liberty. Liberty and justice for all. Remember that? Liberty and justice for all? Trump is a neo-fascist. He talks about America first. But you know what? We have to start to concern of Earth first because if we don't take care of business, we're going to lose the planet, the whole planet. And we have um, grave dangers. And people may be sick of hearing about this, but it's good to know. Don't live in a bubble. Don't live in a fantasy. Don't live in connected reality. All our realities are connected. There is no single separate reality out there. There's no out there out there. It's all connected. From the cosmic level to the local level. So Trump reminds me a lot of, of, of Hitler. See, Hitler, he, he was down like on the Jews. And we got some people who say, well, there was no, really no Jewish ho Holocaust. And we got so many screwed up people were like, I know some people who don't even believe in reality. They don't even believe in time. They don't even believe in money. It's all illusion. And in a way, from a particular viewpoint, I can understand those things. You need to look at the big picture. A circle has 360 degrees. And if we look at a dot in the middle of a circle, from one angle, we're only seeing it from that perspective. We're not seeing the big picture. There's 360 ways of looking at that dot in, in a circle. So expand your mind. Expand your consciousness. Grow up. Mature. Know that we are in times of grave danger. And I'm not going down without a fight. I'm not going down without speaking up. I'm not going down without speaking up and sharing my truth the way I see it, the way I want it. Because at the end of the day, I have to live with myself. When I lay on my bunk, I think that I make progress today, that I learn something, that I grow more, that I create more synapses, that I create more neurons, that I raise my consciousness. So. Many people I know, they're busy with their lives. I'm single, unattached. I don't even have a pet here. I mean, let's have a little pussy, but reality's reality. So, take that any way you think. I'm just saying that we need to Wake up, 
research, see what's going on. Use the power of the word to unite us, not to attack other people, but to unite us. And look at the, the reality. Trump threw in the monkey wrench. And, you know, we got some people who, who like, kiss ass to him, to him, like Alex Jones, and, you know, he knows how to manipulate, Trump knows how to manipulate people, play them off against each other, divide them. The people of Islam are marvelous sisters. Mexican immigrants are of my blood people. I am a humane being. I am a member of humanity. And I refer to my particular people as La Raza, or La Raza Cosmica. And the truth is, we're, we're screwed up too as a people. We're, we're so divided, we're like, are we Latinos? Are we Mexican Americans? Are we Hispanics? Or what the fuck are we? Ultimately, you know, if, if, you, see, if, you, if you see clearly, we're natives. Not necessarily American natives, but we're natives. This is the only land that we've known are these lands. The U.S. Southwest was once northern Mexico. I was descendant of Geronimo on my dad's side. Both my grandparents fought in the Mexican Revolution. My grandmother, Lupe Fernandez, was a nurse with the Red Cross. And my grandfather was a minor Zapatista. So we have, here's thing we should know about, and, and do it now. If you can, write down brief, brief biographies of people in your family, especially your grandparents. They're not going to be around forever. Who is? And just think about what's really important in life. What are you leaving behind for your children? So, I will continue to heal the work on myself. I am just convinced that Donald Trump is a demon. He's evil and there are dark, dark, dark forces in the world that control the connected reality that we live in. Your president is a billionaire. How many of you are billionaires? I don't even know a billionaire. Trump sure does. And all this crap about war and all this, you know, it's sex is up about, you know, terror and ISIS and all this anti-terror crap. Same as, as Bush, Bush baby did. It's all about the money. Money for the military industrial intelligence complex. It needs to take care of the infrastructure inside the United States. We need to take care of our own people. Housing. Decent, affordable housing. Not more and more wars and weapons. Remember our five basic needs to be redundant. 
food, clothing, shelter, medical care, and quality education, five basic needs. What do the people want of the world? What do they want? Land and bread. So this is why the complex don't complicate the simple. better wake up. Trump is a fascist. He's evil. Just keep to faith, you know. Unite with people. Use, use the tactic works. You know, if you look at the uh, Occupy Wall Street failed. The Arab Spring failed. We need to utilize the power of the vote and use the elections as forums from which we can educate the people, forums from which we can campaign for our humane rights. Learn how to hustle. Learn how to hustle. And we see the left wing is broken. The Democratic Party is lost. So many people felt with the, the Bernie Sanders the Bush is pathetic. So Stay alert, get involved, and educate yourself. And educate those around you. Don't just uh, get lost in sex, music, and drugs. Help us save Mother Earth.